Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. Today we are playing Survive the Night in Roblox. This is a Roblox horror game and I love it so much. I was playing it yesterday and like, just look at the graphics, it is insane. Basically how this works is there's one killer and there's like six survivors or something. The survivors have to survive from midnight until 6 a.m. and they also have to complete like optional tasks and stuff like over yeah these are daily tasks but there's also optional ones when you actually go into the map and listen to the doors creak when you open them that's kind of scary so if we go to the store there's different gear and gears and stuff you can buy at the moment i just have the default one basically what this does as you can see it tracks the distance to the slasher if you go over yeah it's like increased speed health and reduced breathing but i chose leg man because i want to run really fast and there's other stuff too there's different characters there's different like featured items every single thing in this game costs the exact same price and i must say i really like that exterminator shoots a nearby survivor that actually sounds like a really good special ability well i have the default one at the moment that is the murderer <sighs> And he makes like the noises from Jason. Oh, it's reached dawn. That means that the survivors won because the slasher did not kill him all in time. Next time, we'll be a part of the survivors who survive. Maybe we'll even be the only survivor. Maybe we'll even be the slasher. This game kind of reminds me of, a, of that like Stop It Slender game. If you remember that, where they'd be like survivors and they'd be Slender Man. And you all had, as a team, would have to find like eight pages. That game was really good, but this one is even better. We are even joined by the creator of this game. Um, we're going to the graveyard. Okay. So we basically go to a different map each time. I don't know how many maps there are. I'm the slasher. Oh my gosh, last time I was the slasher, I only killed like two people. But we'll see how it goes. Oh no, yeah, I am in the graveyard. Everyone gets a 15 second head start. This was gonna be like a scary video where I get hunted, but I guess I'm the hunter. Okay, for a split second, it reveals where everyone is at the very beginning. And also, like, a while later in the game, it does that again. So every single person is this way. How long do you think it'll be- it'll take for me to catch them all? Well, I found one already. Hello. Ah! They don't stand a chance against me. I've gotten one kill and I see another person right there. They will die. They know I'm nearby, but they cannot escape. It's reached 2 a.m. Well done. You think you're gonna survive? You are not gonna survive. Not at all. That is right. I killed him. Rest in peace to cool. I've killed two people already. I'm actually doing surprisingly well. And there's another person there. See guys, I am the best slasher there is. There must be like one more person there. My detection ability is about to activate. Ooh, two people that way, okay. Three people, actually. They were like two right on top of each other. Oh, there's someone here. Rest in peace to that person. They will indeed be missed. Not by me, though. Hard in the bushes, I see. You're a professional at this game, aren't you? That's what everyone says to me. Um, are they hiding inside here? I'm not gonna pick up the relic. I'm not gonna help the enemy team win. Okay, but really, there should be like one person hiding somewhere here. And we just need to find them. Nice reach, Slasher. Does the Slasher, does, does cool thing come hacking? 
Anyways, there's one person left, and I need to find them, and I don't know where to find them. Oh, the detection ability is gonna go off again. This is perfect. See, I am the best slasher, apparently. I didn't think it was true, but now I do. They're over there? They're so far away. And it's 5 a.m. Say goodbye. And I am victorious. Just before dawn, I succeeded. I, the ripple version of Jason, managed to kill everyone. No one stood a chance against me. I got a lot of money from that too. We can almost buy a new hunter or a new anything really because everything's the same price. That went way better than I thought it would. I still can't get over how good this game looks like. Just look at the graphics, look at the shadows, look at how it's like slightly grainy. Just everything about it is so nice. Look at these car lights, look at the shadows. It's just, it's perfect. It all blends together so well. This game will be linked in the description down below if you do want to check it out. Kind of scares me every time where the power just like sort of goes out just before the round starts. But this time we're going to the campsite. I am excited for this one. I'm a survivor this time. And basically a survivor you can like get relics, you can like turn on generators, you can like flip switches and stuff. And there's like a goal where you have to reach like a certain amount as a team. And I guess that gives you like a special bonus, maybe extra money or something. So yeah, we are... What? Contagion? Does that mean if someone slashes on his way already? Does that mean if someone like, you know, gets killed they also become a hunter? <laughs> I did my little taunt there. You could hear me laughing. Why is that person following me? They better not have some sort of disease. I hear a heartbeat. There could be relics in any of these rooms. Wait, we also need to activate weather antennas. There's no relics in here and the other guy already went to the top floor, so we should go hunt for weather antennas. But we need to be careful. We don't know how many people, killers there could be. It could be me versus four killers for all we know. There's nothing special in these tents. There's a nice campfire though. We can rest by the campfire if we want to. The sign is completely blank. I have no idea where I'm going. I heard a footstep. Anyway. We can activate a weather antenna, antenna, yeah. No one else has activated one yet. And I'm always the first to do everything. It was really loud. Why does it make such a loud noise? It's 3 a.m. already. Three hours until midnight. Already? I'm not prepared for this. I just heard something. But there's another weather antenna, yeah, and I must activate it. And I think that's a relic over there. Did these lights just go out or something? I don't know, but anyways. We got the antenna, now we got the relic. That relic gave us some money. I'm sure the antenna did the same. The heart beats really loud. It says, I'm safe, not audible. That's good to hear. Oh, there's another relic here. And it's 4 a.m. Already. What if, like... Wait, if it says survive the night 3 out of 5, I think that means that 3 people are dead, guys. I'm one of the only 2 people alive. And for all I know, there could be 4 hunters, because everyone who gets killed might become one, and I don't even know. Anyways, I have no- I'm surprised I'm still alive, actually. That's almost impressive, in a way. There's a relic over here. This building has seen better days. It looks- well, it looks horrible. There was definitely a crime scene or something that happened there, but hopefully it won't involve my dead body. What is that? Oh, that's the moon. Why is it so massive? Um, okay, anyways, it's 5 a.m. There's a relic up here. I think I'm putting in all the work for the team. I'm also the last surviving person. This is a little scary, it's a little intense. That's one of the weather antennas that I've activated. I heard some scary noises, some footsteps, and I can still hear the heartbeat, which is a little scary. Every now and then I hear like 
There's one strange footstep in the grass, and I can't tell if it's a bee or not. I survived. I'm victorious. Was I really the only survivor? Honestly, GG for that. And if there were four... <laughs> oh, because it put like 1 out of 5, 2 out of 5, 3 out of 5 whenever an hour passed. So four of us survived. I wasn't the only survivor. I mean, it's good to know I'm not the only person who can survive in this game. And then, like, we have 600. 600 whatever that is. P-I-I? -I. What could we purchase? I want to purchase a special slasher. And I want to get this guy to shoot a nearby survivor. And we should equip him right away. So that was really fun. We got to play as a hunter and a slasher today. But unfortunately, I have run out of time. And I am going to have to end this video right here. So anyway, guys, I really do hope you enjoyed this video. This was a really fun game. I'd love to make more videos on this game. So leave a like if you enjoyed. Of course, if you want to check out this game for yourself, it is linked in the description down below. Subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.